it all started with, from what I understand, with you MySpacing and and so showing your skills. Yeah, I just put like like a random demo on MySpace, and someone that you know had his own DVD at that time, a person by the name of Fendi, he hit me up. I made on MySpace. And so he went to do someone else, and like they contacted me. They were like, no, he's good people. You should hit him up. Fendi, the CEO of Dirty Money Records, took notice of the rising lady lyricist. He suggested Nicki change her last name from Mirage to Minaj. I named her Nicki Minaj. A lot of underground rappers started knowing who I was because of the comic DVD and... This DVD right here started Nicki Minaj's whole career. When I did like a DVD... Mm -hmm. Her biggest dream was to meet Lil Wayne. From day one, that was it. She wanted to meet Wayne. And then, you know, Wayne saw me on that DVD. Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne. And... Uh, and, uh... <laughs> There was one come up DVD that changed everything. It featured Lil Wayne on the cover. I believe her song came on right after Lil Wayne's. Like I think Fendi did that on purpose to get the attention of Wayne. And we watching that to see his part and wound up running into her and he was like, wow, who's that? It's like, it's Nicki Minaj. He said, I want to sign her. And E.I. was a nigga who put the whole young money, dirty money deal together. Okay. Yeah, my nigga from Brooklyn put it together. He, he, he called me with Wayne on the phone. Wayne want to sign my artist, Nicki Minaj. I'm signing Dirty Money Records, and Fendi, who owns that, he's also the owner of the Come Up DVD, so it's only right that I'm the first lady at the Come Up DVD. I was like, this female right here is amazing. She'd be amazing for my label as well, and so that's when I knew I wanted to sign her, as soon as I heard her, as soon as I saw her. I took her, introduced her to Wayne, Wayne my nigga. We, I made it happen. She didn't make nothing happen. That's me doing that. And next thing you know, I was a part of Young Money. I'm the reason why Nicki Minaj is with Young Money. Did they compensate you financially? No, at all. Hell no. Nicki Minaj, young mola, dirty money, man. Nicki Minaj, man, a.k.a. Nicki Lewinsky, man. What's up, New York, man? Dirty money, Fendi, I see you, young mola, baby. Where the fuck is the money at? <laughs> to happen because of who I got on this camera, you know. What's good, what's good, what's good. You know, New York Giants, you know, we, we, we looking good out there. Yeah, I'm on my New York shit. What's good, what's good, what's good. Guess what? I'm back. And when you say you back, I don't know what that mean. I'm back, man. I'm back bigger than ever, man. Come up DVD Vibe 23, back like Jordan, man. You what already know, man. What's popping? What, ma what made you come back? A lot of shit made me come back. I uh -huh. mean, Fucked up, I ain't getting no money, so they say, you know what I'm saying? I came back as Kiss made me come back, honestly. Okay. Shout out to the real Kiss, man. At the real Kiss, Twitter. That's my nigga. He made me come back, really. I was getting too much money. I What the fuck? I don't need to do a DVD. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. do a DVD in over 24 months. So, a lot is going on out there, you know. What you want to know? What's going on? Well, I want to know. I like your homie. What's popping? Yeah, yeah, What's good? yeah. Let's get this shit started right. Yeah, let's What's get good? this shit started right. right. What, what, what I want to know is, What's um... Up? The last few DVDs, okay. um, you had Nicki on the DVDs. Who? Nicki Minaj. She okay. started from your DVD. Absolutely. What you want to know? What the world want to know? I don't want to know what you want to know. I need to know what the world want to know. Because what you want to know might be something you just want to know. So we're going to get there. We're going to get there. The All world right? want to know when they asked her where her start come from. She said she started on a little DVD. How you felt when you heard that? Did you hear that when she said that? I was fucked up when I heard it. I mean... I mean, everybody know this DVD right here started Nicki Minaj's whole career. Mm -hmm. Not only the DVD game, me, myself. Like, my hard-earned money. I put everything behind Nicki Minaj myself. I named her Nicki Minaj. I gave her a Debbie on some management shit, which is Waka Moms. And shit went left after that. Real, real talk. Like, that's where it went wrong at. So, when did you see it, like, fucking up? You know what I'm saying? Because, cause, like... I remember the the last the last few the last footage I did. What was the last footage we did? Was she had on the um Catwoman? Did she have the, 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 the Superwoman shit? That was the last footage I did on her. Um, is this something you want or the world want to know? Everybody want to know. Okay. This is what everybody want. I All speak right. for the world. Okay, you know okay, what I'm saying? That's what about. I speak for the street niggas. Okay. I speak. When, when did it go wrong? Like, cause I remember, remember I was. It just sound, it just sound like you kind of watering down. I ain't watering down shit. We going okay. in, we going okay. all the way. We going. going where, where did it fuck up? Like, where did it go wrong? When was... I can't, I can't say where it went wrong, because when I met Nicki Minaj, she was humble. 
She was from Queens. I met her on MySpace, Twitter, one MySpace. The girl was humble. I put my money up. I did my job. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, her biggest dream when she met me was to meet Little Wayne. Mm. That was it. She just wanted to meet Little Wayne. I took her to Wayne. So, is my did I do my job? Yeah, you did your job. Okay, so I mean, so she's still working. I'm not working with her. Something wrong, right? Yes, sir. I did my job though. So that's all that. I, her job, her biggest dream was to meet Little Wayne. From day one, that was it. She wanted to meet Wayne. I took her, introduced her to Wayne. Wayne, my nigga. We, I made it happen. She didn't make nothing happen. That's me doing that. I put her with Debbie, which is Gucci Man Art, which was Gucci Manager at the time. And the rest is history. I mean, Nicki Minaj is who she is. Nicki got with Puff. She not with Puff. She got with Debbie. She not with Debbie. She started with Fendi. She not with Fendi. What else did it say? I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm lost. What so, 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 did, was, was it a conversation like, yo, we ain't fucking with each other no Never more? Never was a conversation. What happened? I had, I, had, I had mouth surgery like two years ago, uh -huh. three years ago, and Debbie had called me up one time, which is Gucci, man. Uh, not, which is Guacamole. Guacamole, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Wack. I fuck a Wack. That's my boy. Uh huh. So, um, Debbie had called me up, and she wanted to talk business, but I had surgery on my I mouth. I remember, yeah, yeah, talk. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I was like, yo, Debbie, I can't really talk right now. I'm fucked up. Like, uh -huh. she was like, yo, what you mean you can't talk right now? I was like, I can't talk right now. I'm fucked up. So, I guess she took that like, oh, I don't want to handle the business part, but it was really a personal situation that at that at that moment in time we couldn't holler. But I'm the reason why Nikki got with Debbie. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the reason why Nikki got with Debbie. So, with that being said, there's no more to say after that. So basically, um, when did it go wrong with Nikki? I don't know. I meant. Nikki wanted to meet Debbie. Debbie wanted to meet Nikki. But when I spoke to Debbie after the fact, I'm like, yo, I gave Debbie Nikki's mixtape. Uh huh. She came to one of my hood lockers in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. I had to do I had to do a Gucci man show. I had booked Gucci like five times. Mm -hmm. So Debbie wanted to meet Nikki. I, I actually was like, yo, Debbie, I got an artist. I want you to fuck with. Debbie was doing her thing. She had OJ. She had Gucci. I'm like, yo, I fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? She about her bread. So I'm like, I want you to meet my artist, Nikki. Uh huh. So. I tell Nikki about Debbie, like, yo, look, Debbie is this bitch, she get busy, you know, you know, she get busy, woo dee woo yo, I need you to meet her, so maybe we can find a management, because Nikki was signing my production company. Uh -huh. So I'm like, okay, so we're going to figure out a way to put it together. But anyway, Nikki was on the road doing a little mixtape thing at the time. She wasn't really around, but we was trying to find a way to bring it together. Like, okay, it's going to happen eventually. So when, my, it was my birthday party weekend, I flew Nikki into town. For my birthday weekend. Like every year I would bring Nikki to my birthday weekend. Every year. I'm talking about oh oh seven, oh eight, oh nine. Every year. So this one year, we I'm moving too fast. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Debbie wound up leaving town and she didn't get to meet Nikki. So Debbie wanted Nikki to come to Atlanta. They flew it they flew Nikki from from Raleigh, North Carolina to Atlanta. Gucci and Debbie did. Uh huh. I sent Nikki to the airport with Jada Kiss. Nikki went to Atlanta. You know, Nikki, my bitch, so go ahead. I ain't worried about that. I'll pay work straight anyway. Yeah. So Nikki go to Atlanta, and Nikki becomes a new Nikki after that. Debbie started questioning me what I was doing with Nikki as far as what I ever did for her. And I was like, yo, how you questioning? You my homegirl. How you questioning what I did for Nikki Minaj? Mm -hmm. This is my people's. Like, I'm I'm putting her on the money. Mm -hmm. She never said to me, yo, Finny, you want to hold down, hold down Gucci or hold down OJ. So I'm like, oh, this is something I did. She can't. Everything I'm telling you is the true fact. Uh -huh. No lie. I put Debbie on the Nikki. Debbie did not even know who Nikki was. So she called me up two weeks later after she got the CD. Like, Fendi, I'm really feeling this chick. I want to meet her. So we were trying to find a way to put it together. Nikki get with Debbie. Nikki becomes a new Nikki. So now, Nikki hanging out with Debbie. I call Nikki up, tell her about my birthday party coming up. Nikki start telling me, well, I need to holler at Debbie. I'm like, holler at Debbie? 07, 08, 09, right? Uh -huh. how, how, how am I hollering anybody if we've been doing this annually? Kiss wasn't feeling it. I wasn't, it was, I mean, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, here we go. I got to go through channels now with my artist. With your artist. So, I mean, that's in a nutshell. You know what I'm saying? Then as things gradually, I didn't speak to Nikki for a while. Um, I wound up speaking to Nikki and she was telling me some sucker shit that Gravy said. Uh -huh. We don't get to that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Gravy said, what the fuck Gravy talking about? Last time I seen Gravy, I gave him some bread. So I, what is he saying, Slick? 
But, you know, Gravy got with her on some video shoot, and he was talking slick about me. I guess he felt like he was Biggie for the moment, and he wanted to get fly. So she she took it in. You know, she, she buzzed in a little bit. So it was like my whole empire. Everybody I put my money in behind. Everybody I put my time in behind. Now, all of a sudden, they question Fendi. Because now they got a little situation going on. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, so my question is, is it a time, I, I remember um, you said you saw Nikki one time, she tried to walk right past you, like she ain't know you. I right? saw Nikki on our music tour, me and Mike Lighty. Uh-huh. And um, my man, E.I., called me up and was like, yo, Finn, yo, I got, yo, what Nikki doing out here on the tour without you? I'm like, Nikki on the tour without me? He like, yeah, Nikki out here on the road without you, nigga, what's good? And E.I. was the nigga who put the whole young money, dirty money deal together. Okay. Yeah, my nigga from Brooklyn put it together. He, he, he called me with Wayne on the phone. Wayne wanted to sign my artist Nicki Minaj after he watched the Come Up Volume Eleven, and the rest was there from there. So E I called me on some Brooklyn shit like, Yo, boy, why you ain't out here? Uh -huh. I'm so fucked up. I'm like, Nigga, Nicki on the road. So how Nicki got on the road with Wayne without me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm lost to this day. I don't know. But shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I saw Nicki on the Iron Music tour. She walked right past me. Saw me and everything. So Mike Lighty grabbed up like, yo, shorty, how you not speaking to this man when he the reason why you here? She was like, yo, um, Debbie told me he said some shit about me and da 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 And I'm like, yo, hold on. How is Debbie in the middle of saying what I told you who said what? You know what I'm saying? Me and you bigger than that. Me and you was before any of this. So you can call me up or you can let me know what you was feeling. Well, you know, and you know that was that. We 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 beat, we we settled it that night though. Uh -huh. Me and Nikki, we hung out. We had a good time. We was about to work on some business. I, I assume and figure out how we gonna work out what we need to work out because at the end of the day, I'm the reason why Nikki Minaj is with Young Money. So I'm figuring mentally we gonna put that right. We gonna fix that. That didn't happen. So as far as the paperwork you had, okay, did they compensate you financially? No, at all. Hell no. No, not at all. I, I, I spoke to Taz, who, who's the president of Young Money, right before Wayne came home. And he was like, yo, fan, when Wayne get home, we're going to straighten you out. I was like, all right, Taz, no doubt. Nigga, I ain't heard from Taz since. That was old when Wayne came home. Yeah. It's 2012. I ain't speak to Taz. Taz didn't reach out to me. I ain't see Wayne. I ain't spoke to Wayne. I spoke to E.I. several times. No, nah, I ain't speak to none of that, no. I didn't get compensated. It was a $15,000 situation that came in play on some, yo, here's a finder's fee, $15,000. And that came from Nikki. But I was like, yo, that's a, that was a smack in my face. A that finder's was like, fee? Yeah, nigga, a finder's a fee, finder's $15,000. Yeah. For somebody that, um, financially, give, give the people a figure how much money you spent on the Nicki Minaj project, image, roundabout figure, promotion. I mean... I mean, there's never a dollar amount on what I did because I can do shit that another that another nigga might cost a hundred thousand to do. I can do that for twenty thousand. Okay. So if you had to say real numbers, it was a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I put her in a situation where it was really nothing. She's a multimillionaire yeah, now. Yeah, I was yeah. doing. Say it again. She's a multimillionaire now. Yeah, well, she yeah. to show some love, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Exactly. I mean, I, and listen, I ain't. This ain't a crybaby interview, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, let's, let's clarify that yeah, for the this people. this is not a crybaby interview. We ain't doing that. We ain't, this ain't the bash Nicki Minaj interview on the come up to make some sales. You asking me real questions, I'm giving you real answers. Uh -huh. That's how I rock, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't reached out to Nicki, I ain't called Nicki, I ain't been hitting up on Twitter, I ain't been on her Facebook. That ain't me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a hustler first. I'm from BK. So why does she act like you don't exist, though? I don't get that, though. That's, That's a good question. That's a good question. A fan should be asking her. Because it seems like her fans always bashing me. Like, oh, Fendi, you ain't loyal. You ain't this. How the fuck I'm not loyal? How am I not loyal? Nigga, if, niggas, if, if the record business is giving out royalty checks, where the fuck is my loyalty check? You know what I'm saying? I've been loyal from day one to everybody I fucked with. So ain't no such thing as... Oh, why is this? Why is that? You ask Nikki. That's a question you need to ask Nikki. They need to ask Nikki. Nikki, well, what really happened with Fendi? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what really going on? If it, I was taught whoever you came in the game with that was loyal to you and put you in a better situation mm -hmm. and so you stick with. That's why I fuck with 50 Cent. Because mm -hmm. regardless of what, you still see Tony Yayo, nigga. 
You still see Lord Banks. And they got their little differences probably in the camp. But niggas is still getting money together. You feel me? So right now, if, if um, she go and see this because they're going to put her on. What right, you now, want, what? What, right now, what you want to say to Nikki right now? I mean, Nikki became a mega star. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and my blessings go out to that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, she did a lot of great moves. She worked her way. She worked through Puffy. She worked through Debbie. And Debbie did a good job. I'm not even uh -huh. hating on Debbie. Debbie did a wonderful job. But what Debbie didn't do a good job at, what Debbie should have said, hold on, shorty. He's the reason why I'm with you. Let's make sure he's a part of what we're doing. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Because I made Debbie a part of what I was doing when it was at a smaller factor. Even with Puff, I spoke to Puff about Nikki. I said, Puff, I said, yo, she's a good artist. I said, I'm not saying she's the most loyal artist, but she a good artist. Mm -hmm. Roll the dice. She don't fuck with Puff no more, so you tell me what happened. If she don't fuck with, listen, niggas just said, okay, cool. Let's look at this. Everybody that was in Nikki's camp that I put there was still there. I put Debbie there. She was there. She was getting money. Nikki piggyback off Debbie to get with Puff. Puff ain't there no more. Debbie ain't there no more. Safari might not be even there no more. I mean, what's really good? Who the fuck is Safari, though? That's A boyfriend. I, okay. I mean, the homeboy. You know, okay. the, the, yeah. the little the homeboy. Like, he might not be there no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. everybody that was there in the, in the beginning are not there no more. Even niggas that used to work for are not there no more. That's a business. I'm saying, if... If it was something to fix... That I would say, let's fix it. Nikki grew up. She she did what she did. She gave me credits on the album. What he fucking do? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Finney for teaching me everything. You know what I'm saying? I read that. I was like, okay. Where the fuck is the money at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where the money at? That's what I'm saying. Like, but that's it. We're not even going to have this interview about Nikki Minaj. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Let's um, keep it moving. We off Nikki, man. But 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 I but I do want the fans to know because she does have a lot of fans. That yeah, well, they need, to, they need That's a question. Instead of hitting me up on at Big Finney on Twitter, yeah, uh -huh. asking me, yo, why you ain't loyal you and you mad because Nikki? I'm not mad as shit. You no, what, what, I, me, right? what I want the fans to know is what is that you really created? Nikki I created Nikki Minaj from zero. 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 Nicki Minaj had a, had a MySpace. It was a fucking flyer page. I changed her page. I changed her name. I changed her image. I mean, Nicki Minaj is arguing because I wanted her to be the sex symbol and talk about pussy and get the niggas open. And she told me I was disgracing her name. But she's still talking about pussy. <laughs> and ass, ass, ass. So, I, so is she following my blueprint? Huh? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So what did I say? Where's that check at? I don't know. I mean, where's that check at? The art, talking artist about, development. Yeah, where's, where's the artist development check that's bigger than 15000 I should be. I, there's no reason why I'm not a couple of million in the bank just because. Young Money, holler at me. All right. The other question we got, we got one more Nikki question. This is the most important one because Which this one? this leads into the next segue. Who idea was it to do the little Kim poses, the little Kim hairstyle that Nikki did? You know, some of the shit that she was doing. Was that your idea or Nikki's I mean, idea? It was my idea to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? It was like, all right, cool. We had to figure out something. I believe in shock value. I believe in doing something that's going to get the presence of your artist instantly. I don't uh -huh. believe in working on a a one year, two year project where we, we we grinding. So I was thinking of something that could really catch the attention for Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, let's let's be, let's do a little Kim pose, which I felt like was one of the hottest poses in hip hop. Yeah. Let's do a little Kim pose on some paying homage shit. Like, okay, you know, it ain't gonna be it, it was no drama. It was like, all right, we do a little Kim pose and I think at the time, I don't even know how true it was, but it's like, yo, they thought Nikki had stuffed up stuffed her panties with some tissue. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I don't know. But all we kept saying was Shorty had a big bird, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, that was my idea, you know what I'm okay. saying? And um that was kinda one of the ideas that really got her attention. Uh huh. It wasn't about being Kim. You know, at that time, nah, I I, I can't even say that. Like Shorty's innocent at that time. Okay. You know, after after working with Kim and seeing certain shit 
I kind of understand where Kim was coming from, but I know nah, that what's, was my idea. Though. So what's um what what's what's the relationship with Kim like now? The relationship is good. I mean, I love Kim. Little Kim is definitely loyal. Um, I fucked with her for a project. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh huh. I actually helped her with the whole um what's the name of that? Uh, Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday uh -huh. mixtape, which was which was phenomenal for her. Um, I put my heart and soul. Tell the it. truth on the PayPal, man. What the PayPal numbers was really looking like? Oh, it was real numbers. Shorty, okay. put, Shorty put up numbers. Okay. I can't even front. I showed her how to put the whole shit together. Shorty put up some real PayPal numbers. I mean, niggas was hating on Kim, but Kim got talent, my nigga. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And you know, Kim got talent, but with a nigga like me, uh -huh. I'm a great coach. Okay. So I'm a coach a motherfucker into being number one, regardless. So is Fendi on with Kim or just for that project? What is it? Just for that project, but I fuck with Kim. You okay. know what I'm saying? You know, we had a big, we had a little bit misunderstanding on some paper shit that happened okay. that we got to settle up. But nah, I fuck with Kim. Kim is real. Like, okay. I like Kim because she from the heart. You know what I'm saying? And she letting every nigga that she came in the game with eat. Shout out to her brother. You know what I'm saying? He a mm -hmm. good dude. Chris. Um, I fuck with Looch. Mm -hmm. Um, a couple other motherfuckers, but I ain't got nothing negative to say about Little Kim. Little Kim is real. So let's get into um. The other artist that you had, Gravy. Who? Gravy. You mean Biggie? Whatever. Biggie Gravy. Gravy. Which, which one? We, we talk about I want to talk Gravy. about. I want to talk about Biggie is dead, first and okay, foremost. Well, Rest well, of dead. Well, well, I'm hearing Gravy Biggie now, so I don't know. Which one? Gravy? Jamal a, Willard? Yeah, that's who we're going to talk about. All right, what's up with him? What happened with you and him? Because, um... You know, we we was doing some work with him at Forbes. You know, we did some interviews, and um, okay. you know, we was trying to get to the bottom of, you know, what happened with you and Fendi. And okay. his response was, you know, a few street niggas wasn't feeling you. You know what I'm saying? Explain what happened. First of all, I'm more I'm, I'm the most street nigga he ever met in his life. So he can't say street niggas ain't feeling me. I fuck with I'm a street nigga first, so I fuck with the streets. I was gravy streets. Jamal, Biggie, whoever. Um, I kind of watched that interview. I saw a couple of things. He said, uh, "Yo, it's a great. Why you got shot? You know, Fendi was doing so much. You know, it was kind of like Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Gravy was my son, like a nigga I took care of, like my little boy. Nigga had had gravy stains on his shirt. I got him a new shirt. Nigga's shoes was leaning. I got him new sneakers. Nigga's jewelry was fake. I got him real jewelry. Like we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? So gravy could never." I met Gravy in 97, nigga. I nurtured that nigga to 2004, 2005, out my pocket. I went to the feds. The nigga never wrote me, never said nothing. I came home and still got it with him and put him back on his feet. So that nigga could never, ever, ever, ever in his fucking life disrespect me, ever. Gravy is the least common denominator. Jamal Willard, whatever. I took care of that nigga like he was my son. Everybody know that. So when Gravy says, oh, anything negative that, gravy, that come out of Gravy's mouth about me, Nigga need to smack him for that. Because he ain't built like that to say nothing negative about me. Straight up and down. A nigga who really went out for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, rode out for that nigga. Ain't through thick and thin, nigga. So it ain't nothing to be said. I'm the only nigga that ever held gravy down. Nobody ever did. So I'm out. I'm gravy, nigga. Like, for that, for that to be. So you ask me what happened and what he's saying. I'm hearing he telling niggas, oh, yo, I don't fuck with son. How you don't fuck with me? No, I don't fuck with you. So, what happened with Gravy was, I hollered at Puff, I hollered at Mark Pitts, Wayne Barrows. These are the niggas who put the Biggie movie together. I beg for them niggas to, do, to have Gravy be Biggie. If y'all niggas remember, if you go back to the Come Up Volume 8, I shot a Biggie video warning. At the end of the video, it said, Gravy is not trying to be Biggie. He's just trying to show some respect to the greatest rapper who ever lived. Biggie was my man. So... We ain't going there, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the, at the end of the fucking video, it said, "Look forward to Gravy in the up and coming Biggie movie in 2000." That was 2005. Mm -hmm. So the movie came out 2008, 2009, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm setting Gravy up to be Biggie before the Biggie movie was even written. All right, so we we off that right there. So now let's go into um. The Dirty Money situation. That was the name of your company for a long time, and then... Still the name of my company. Okay, that's the name of your company. Dirty Money Records. Then out of nowhere, Diddy comes out with Dirty Money, the group. Yeah, but a lot of people thought that um, Diddy stole my name. He stole my name. Diddy hollered at me. Uh-huh. You know, me and, me and Diddy been friends. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy. 
I've been friends since 90 fucking 2. Mm-hmm. When, when, when Sean Puffy Combs or P. Diddy, nigga, he was doing the red zone in the city. That's, I might be talking my age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? You're giving him too much I've been, right now. I've been fucking with Diddy since the early 90s, and um, he hollered at me. He actually called me. He had D Rock call me. D Rock uh -huh. was like, "Yo, what up? You know, you, you know, a nigga called you. You ain't spoke to in like 20 years. Yeah. You know it's about something, but you're like, well, D Rock, what up? I'm like, yo, what up, D Rock? What's good? Yo, Puff want to know if he can use the name Dirty Money for they got a little group coming out. And I was like, I was like, damn, Dirty Money the group. I'm like, all right. So I thought I was gonna be writing some bars and I was gonna be rapping, but <laughs> he cut me out that picture. Um, okay. He called me up, asked me can he use Dirty Money for the name of the group. So I was like, all right, um, yeah, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Puffy giving you a call about using your company name as the name of his group, that might can work. You know what I'm saying? So I went to see Puff. I went to Daddy's house in Manhattan. Went to holler at him. Went by myself, too. I, I, went up, you know, I don't even travel by myself like that, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I went to see Puff. I guess you go see Puff, you got to be by yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go see Puff in Daddy's house. He like, yo, what's up? You know, I heard your company named Dirty Money. I want to use it for my group. How much money are you going to be involved? I'm, me, I'm a real nigga. I said nothing, nigga. I ain't going to charge you one dollar. Give me the paperwork. Signed off. Now, you got to be smart. Now, you you know, one hand wash the other. Right, Puff? So, Puff said he got me. We're going to make some other other moves. And, and Puffy made me mad because I did a Ciroc party in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. It was like giving away a thousand shots of Ciroc. So, I'm yelling Ciroc, Ciroc, Ciroc. I'm... You was a rock boy for I'm the night. I was a rock boy. Hey, you dirty money, right? Mm-hmm. So, somebody hit me up. Like, Puffy said he ain't going to be in Greensboro on Twitter. I'm like, hold up. I had spoke to Puff about this party. Like, yo, how the fuck is Puff on, on Twitter telling niggas he ain't going to be in Greensboro because it wasn't a rock party? But I guess the, the advertising was so big, mm -hmm. they was hitting him up. Like, yo, you going to be in Greensboro? going to be in Greensboro? So he said he ain't going to be in Greensboro. And I got mad. I was in my feelings. I ain't going to front. I was like, yo. Because if a nigga hit me up and said, Dirty Money gonna be in London, I ain't gonna go, yo, Dirty Money ain't gonna be in London. I'm gonna call Puff up and I'm gonna say, yo, homie. You know, we're getting phone calls about, you know, Dirty Money in London. You know, being that we got a neutral agreement, it's all good. Likewise, and he ain't do that. So right now, I ain't really feeling Puff for that, to be honest with you. That was kind of whack, but Puffy never stole my name or none of that. I, I, I authorized him legally. To use my name for the group. That's it. I still own Dirty Money. Puffy is actually the president of Dirty Money. Niggas don't even know that. Dirty Money Records. I made Puff the president. I'm the CEO. I'm Capo. You dig? Ain't nothing changed. So for all the niggas who was questioning, yo, what have yo? Puffy, nah, he didn't steal my name. He gave me a call, neutral respect. You know what I'm saying? We talked about it for a couple of hours, a couple of days, and we made it happen. And that was for the group only. I still got Dirty Money Records. I'm still looking for artists. I'm looking for loyal artists, though. I mean, you might have to get my name on your neck, like... <laughs> no, I'm just saying, man. Any kind of artist I look for now, we're going to sign a 20 year contract. <laughs> no joke. So, the come up DVD, back at it. We're back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back for, for more than one reason. Like, I watched a lot of the other DVDs. I saw your man Sub Zero talking shit about, yo, Fendi, what up? Where you at? He's smacking all this ass. I'm like, damn. Like, nigga, like I, like I died or something. Mm -hmm. But, um, I came back, nigga, kiss all at me, you know, like, I do this shit for real. Like, I do it on a whole nother level. Um, I fuck with a bunch of African niggas who made it possible. Them niggas wasn't really eating right. A lot of bullshit DVDs out here. Niggas ain't, you know, you watch these DVDs and you get sleepy. You know what I'm saying? Like, the content is over with. You know what I'm saying? Either, either I'm lost because if I fell off and every time I watch a DVD, I think I'm watching a porn. So I don't know if I'm going to pull my dick out. Or bring my niggas over and watch the DVD. I'm lost. So I didn't know what it is, but I'm bringing the real content back. I got a lot of shit coming up. Um, this is my last DVD for a minute. I ain't dropped a DVD in almost two years and change, actually. But I'm going to drop this one DVD just to prove a point. This right here. This, this joint right here was the prove a point. That was it. I'm nice. It's like Jordan coming back letting you know he still got the fade away. I'm nice. Um, that's it. I mean, the DVD game to me, everybody on World Star Hip Hop, so... I'm not leaking no footage. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in leaking shit. Because if I leak that footage, that's like a nigga giving out samples of his work. 
But yo, let's 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 put it out there for the record, man. Worldstar kind of got big off of the footage that we did, man. Yeah, Worldstar. They true, was ripping. True they, story. Yeah, go ahead. True they story was, right here, right here on motherfucking the Come Up DVD. Jordan Tower Films. Fat white dude from the Bronx. Met him. He wasn't doing nothing. I put this motherfucker on top of the world. He filmed everybody DVD. He filmed everybody's video for me. The nigga was taking my name off the DVD and putting it on Worldstar and getting all the credit. Jordan Tower Films. Nobody knew who Jordan was before the come up came out. And I put him on the Worldstar. Doggy Diamond put him on the Worldstar. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't in for that. But mm -hmm. Jordan Tower was filming Infinite Mall videos when he met before he met me. He was in the Bronx and he wasn't doing nothing. I gave him swag. I introduced him to all my contacts, from Gucci Man to Beanie Siegel to Jada Kiss to Young Jeezy. I gave the nigga all my contacts. So he was giving my footage to Worldstar Hip Hop without my permission. So Worldstar, in the beginning, they put Jordan's name at the top, Jordan Tower Films. He was living off of what I was giving him. I did a video with, with Gucci Man called Kick a Dog. You go to you go to World Star right now. Check out like 60 million views. He took my name off of it and put Jordan Tower Films on World Star Hip Hop. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga robbing me for everything? So he said, nah, you know I didn't know Fendi. You know I'm like, yo, Jordan, you killing me. And Jada Kiss told me long time ago, stop fucking with him. Mm -hmm. And I kept fucking with him over and over again. And I think you, Doggy Diamonds, told me the nigga said his job was destroy to, the come up to DVD. destroy the come up DVD. I didn't believe you. I was like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. But I put joy with every nigga he fucked with to this day, besides maybe Trey the Truth and a couple of other cats. But he used my name. The nigga went to Canada and shot a shout out to Canada, Toronto, Montreal, all that. The nigga went to Canada and shot an unsigned come up DVD without my permission, took niggas bread, and niggas is looking at me like, yo, Fendi, where my bread at? Yeah, he almost got you into some real street shit behind that, right? Yeah, like, nigga, yeah, because I went to Toronto and niggas pulled out hammers like, yo, nigga, you owe me my bread. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, homie, what are you doing? Yo, Jordan was out here shooting a come up, and I know you have something to do with it. I had nothing to do with that at all. And the last shit Jordan just pulled on me was, he called me up a couple of months back and he was like, yo, Finn, yo, VH1 or VH1 or E-Channel want to get some some footage um, for the Nicki Minaj special. I'm like, it's footage? And like, I ain't got no footage for them. He like, they going to give us some money, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, all right, you know what? Make that money happen, I'll make it happen. So I'm sitting around, I never heard from Jordan Tower again, as usual, the disappearing act. So I go to E-Channel, my man hit me up like, yo, I seen an E-Channel special with you and Nicki Minaj. Yo, that shit look right. They shout you out. They got footage of me. E-Channel had footage of me without me even telling them to use my footage. They threw me on TV. I ain't get a dollar. Then I come to find they paid Jordan for my footage, and Jordan answered my call since. This nigga's just motherfucking crazy. Like, I'm lost. Like... How you take my footage, give it to the VH1 or whoever e-channel, e-story, you get paid, you don't give me one dollar. It goes back to everything I'm fucking saying. Ain't no loyalty in this shit at all. Fuck everybody. And that's what the basis of this whole interview is, to show a lot of disloyalty and how you still could come out on top and still rock your brand and you don't need none of the people that... I'm a win regardless, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I made my own way, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always making my own way. Um, I fuck with all the same niggas, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with all the same people from when I first came in the game to doing whatever, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty is royalty in my eyes all the time. But at the end of the day, I don't think I want to be loyal no more because loyalty ain't really paying my bills. I've been loyal from Nicki Minaj to Jada to not Jada's my nigga like that don't count that's my heart you know what I'm saying I'm gonna fuck with him till I die that's my boy Nicki Minaj Gravy uh Jordan Tower I was the only I sound who kid who kid was my DJ first niggas don't even know that I put who kid in the game 
Nigga, I can't even get a motherfucking who kid. I can't even get a shout out, my nigga, from who kid. So it's all good. I mean, I ain't here to be bigger. I ain't here to be bitter. Come on, 23. Watch and learn, nigga.